Hey, welcome to another JavaScript video. In this video, I'll show you a practical example of why you should not use a query selector for everything. I'll show you uh, how you can compare it in terms of performance and also the result you get when you are using um, get element by class name or get element by tag name instead of using query selector or query selector all. So this will be a practical video and it is very important for every JavaScript developer to understand. So let's start. Uh, we have two ways of selecting the query selector which is very powerful and I see a lot of JavaScript developer use it and if you like uh, use them it is not bad but in terms of performance it is not very good so let's see how much it is like different to use query selector versus um, let's say get element by class name or by tag name something like that uh, there is a website called uh, measure.net which I previously talked about if you compare, if you, you can like write your JavaScript code and you can compare it. So if you compare query selector with a class name, the result is very different. Now check it out. Uh, when you are using the class name, it is operating almost like 4 million um, operation. And that's a lot, 380,000, 3 um, million and 800 operation in one second. And if you are using query selector all, it is not even a million. So you can see the differences a lot uh, when you are using query selector by class name. And you have to understand where you should use query selector. The only place I use query selector or query selector all is where I don't have control over my HTML document. Either it is coming from a third party place or I am building, uh, let's say a crawling website, something like that. If you have control, you should always use class name or tag name. That way, you will have more performance. You can also check the performance in the console.log itself. So here is a quick tip. In console, you can say console.time and this function will accept a, a label. If I say, um, um, let's say speed, I just call it a speed, for example, and you can also end it. You can say console.time um, end. So again, you are ending the speed in here. Whatever you write in between this will run as a like as a function and it will show you the speed after the timer end. So let's write query um, document the query selector. Uh, we are going to use selector all. Let's select all H2 because in my website I have a lot of uh, H2. This is H2, this is H2. And if I select H2 in here, now let's see the performance of this, uh, how fast it is. If I run my code, it is 0.2 millisecond, query selector all. Okay, that's great. Now let's use the, instead of query selector all, we are going to use get element by tag name. So again, this will be get element by tag name, we are using H2. Now let's run the code, and you can see that this is like twice faster. This is 0.2 millisecond, this is 0.1 millisecond. Now it is way faster. Now it is not fast in the eye, but when you're building a large application, it impacts a lot. So it is very important to understand how the speed and performance work. Now let's see the difference in the result of the data that you get. Uh, let's create a variable in here. I will call it H2 and I will give it um, a name of H2 query. And it is going to be query selector um i am again going to use query selector all in here and we are going to pass h2 in here so if i write h2 query selector we have 11 nodes in here right okay that's great now let's create another variable i will call it h2 but this time this one will be um tag something like that and this time query selector uh, not query selector get element by tag name so we are going to again doing the same thing h2 uh, if i run this and h2 by uh, query is 11 node and query by tag is 11 collection one of them is returning a html collection one of them is returning this uh, a node list so what is the difference between them when you are using query selector, this is uh, returning the node list. Node list, first of all, it is like an array, but it is not an array. Collection is also not an array. HTML collection, it is not also an array. 
um, it looks like an array the reason it is not array is because you cannot use some array functions like pop split or push in them so that's why we cannot call them array and the main reason between like the main difference between a collection and a node list is that a collect HTML collection is live a node list is not live now let me show you the example what I mean now I already have this variable query and this variable in my memory in here okay we have 11 nodes in here now let's add some di some more tags or h2 tags in here so I'll come grab this I'll copy it and I'll p paste oops uh, two more of them now we have two more h2 in here if I come to console log now before I do any like reward before I like requery anything if I say h2 query we still have 11 nodes in the in the memory but if it is tag it is displaying 13 that's why html collection is live so when, whenever anything in the document change this one also change in the memory so that is one of the advantage so if someone dynamically adding a, a class to your document your variable in here will be also getting updated so that is the live version of it and there are some other differences also and some people might say oh that's not the only like uh, difference yeah that's true you can also make the node um, live for example uh, some people said the node can be also live so if I say h2 query this is the node and you can access it based on index right if I say 0 and a 0 not like yes 0 something like this and I can say inner text okay this is getting the first h2 that we have used in our website it is here okay now what it is outputting is your partner in increasing this now the reason people say this uh, we can use this one as a live is if you run as a like child element or whatever you update in the element in here let's say I add some text uh, updated this is the updated version now if I come here again using the query I told you it is not live but if you are accessing the child again which inner text is a child thing now it is updating the text in here but if you are adding another tag that will not be live so this is also known as a child note something like that so that is the main difference between them now you can understand that when you are using query selector it is first of all is slower than get element by class name or id or uh, when you are using uh, also when you are using this get element by tag name or class name it is returning the html collection which is live so yeah that's it the difference the main difference between them and in terms of readability also i think by tag name it is much easier to understand like i'm selecting this query selector sometimes it is very useful when uh, when you have some complex query for example one of the example that i normally use query selector all is when i say um, i am selecting all the link not let's say if someone has a class of no link something like that in this scenario uh, because query selector uh, act like a css selector this query selector all a lot of people like it but for the performance thing it is not very like uh, uh, very good to use this query selector all so in this cases you can use it or the other case where you don't have a, um, let's say control over the document query selector is great otherwise if you can always use this get element by class name or tag name so yeah that's it for this video i hope this video has been informative and you learned something and if you subscribe to the channel that would be great because more videos like this will come soon in the channel uh, once again thank you and i will see you in the next video